We're happy today to have uh, Dr. Perry Hubbard with us, who is uh, currently serving in uh, Panama. And uh, Perry, why don't you just fill us in on uh, what's been going on in your life? Well, we work in Panama, and we're working with the, the Ibero-American region as their tra training director for missions. They are working to send missionaries from Latin American churches to other countries. And so a big part of what we do is developing the resources they need to teach missions and to train missionaries. And uh, part of those resources you've been developing yourself, uh, you've been writing a book, mm -hmm. and uh, tell us a little bit about that. Well, one of the key issues in missions is to have a, a proper theology. If we don't have a theology that helps us do missions, then it's gonna be very hard to maintain missions. So in the process of preparing materials, I realized that we needed to have a teaching that would give us foundation. So I wrote a book called, it's called Anchors in Action, things that will anchor our theology, anchor our lives in the Word of God so that when it's time to make a decision to move and to, to go out into the world, we'll have the tools we need to be effective in that work. I also might say that uh, I've been hearing that you're a prolific author, so you've been writing more than just this one book. Yeah. Uh, you've got some things for kids, you've got, uh, tell us a little bit about the uh, breadth of your I work. now have 25 manuscripts covering uh, bi biblical studies on missions, resources and tools on developing missions. There's a manual, to, actually two volumes of them now, teaching children about missions covering 26 countries at this point. And also I deal with uh, key topics that relate to the church, uh, spiritual powers, leadership development, and how to become a fruitful Christian, which all actually in many ways tie back to our ability to carry out the, the Great Commission. That's great. Uh, tell us how we can pray for you. Well, pray for us as we continue to develop materials that we will find effective methods to distribute. Uh, when you live in one country and you're serving 20 countries, it can be a challenge to deliver those materials. All of this stuff has been translated into Spanish as well. And to make it available to people in the United States who may have the same needs, you know, to understand missions and to anchor their ministry in a, in a good way so they can carry out God's call. Amen. And how can we pray for you personally? I'll pray for, pray for the strength to continue on. Uh, these are challenging days. We're, we're moving into a whole new era of, of teaching technology, and I, one of my challenges is setting up a virtual classroom so that I can be in Panama, and no matter where there's a candidate for missions or a need to teach missions, we can reach them through the modern technology of uh, a virtual classroom. <laughs> so pray for my strength and wisdom to know how to carry that out. Amen. Thank you so much, Barry. You're welcome.